Hi, my name is Jing, and uh, my uh, full stack tech talk is about MongoDB. And MongoDB is just had the good news that their company went public last week. So uh, people will wonder how come they are so big when public. So let's take a look what is MongoDB. Uh, MongoDB, is, this is a line on their website say, it's a document database with the scalability and the flexibility that you want with the querying and the indexing that you need. So why people using MongoDB is because the document model maps to the objects in the application code, making data easy to work with. They also have the function, this like ad hoc query, indexing and real-time aggregation provide a powerful way to access uh, and analyzing data. And the key point become MongoDB is very um, popular, is, is a distributed database at core. And so it's a highly available and horizontally scaling and geographically distribution are built in and easy to use. On top of that, MongoDB is a free open source um, uh, database. So his, historically first, what Mongo means is actually they get the word humongous. So actually meaning they're dealing with huge amount of data. And second thing is they only start get available in 2010. So why this time and they become highly demanded is something to do with all using mo mobile phone. We start having lots and lots of data. It's really this data overwhelming. So because of this, people start say, oh, we need something to handle this humongous amount of data. The MongoDB is there. <laughs> so um, what we really need to look back a little bit, uh, which is actually uh, why made me to say, do this uh, presentation is, um, is because I really want to know what really MongoDB is. Because I learned computer science a long time ago, all in my life is all about the relation database. And then the SQL or uh, SQL, whatever, those are, the way we learn. Uh, I know what database is a table based, and one database is a table, and one instance is a row. So that is basically, if you see, that is the sample of a, what means in, in relationship database, this is a basic function. So then when you go into MongoDB, these kind of non-SQL data, they actually don't call a database a table, but they are a document base. So whenever a database to them is called a collection. So do you see right now in this, like they have a lot, collect a lot of document together as a database. And you might be very curious to look at this, each one of this document, which is one database instance in non-SQL languages, they are just like a JavaScript, like a, an object in JSON. So actually what they store is called BSON, B-S-O-N, is binary, you know, uh, JSON file. So they store the data in a different way. The reason to make it so distinguished is relationship database. We have to predefine schema. So that's when we learn our um, Postgres, we first have to design our schema. The MongoDB or non-SQL, they are flexible in their schema. You don't need to define because the, each document is a key pairing based um, JSON file. So it's actually more flexible in that sense. And then the, the reason I think right now non-SQL become popular after 2010 is because the, the bottleneck of traditional relationship database only can be called vertically scalable, which is means what you want to make it bigger uh, to score bigger data. 
you need to have more powerful CPU computer to make it doable for a bigger amount of data because to a certain point, it becomes very, very difficult because a lot of all the relationship data is have joint tables. Joint tables have different kind of diff, uh, query in the back to call, need a lot of computation power. While the non-SQL database, they don't need to have this because they don't do those kind of complicated uh, query. So what they need is just physical storage space because right now the hardware like a computer storage space is so cheap it's easier to just get multiple the the hard uh, hard drive there to store data instead to demand a very powerful computer to do in one location the biggest difference in the way is um, uh, the language to use, we call SQL, is a structured query language. And while in the non-SQL, they're using non-structured query language, it's actually much easier. Later on, I'll show a couple of the uh, um, samples. But overall, have a better understand is as, um, relationship database is more best for those kind of complex Query intensive environments basically all the joint table to do in the back and pushing you and give you the data while uh, non SQL it just actually flat file put it out and you can manipulate in your own side instead of using the database that the server side to do those uh, calculation power for work. I think that is the best uh, to describe this to distinguished difference. So um, MongoDB also have their um, core operations. So they basically, you can see here, they have uh, create, insert, they read, it's the find. This find is almost like the most usable things. And then they have update. They're really regular, like update, delete, the, all the similar things. And what you can see here is this is actually each time they're using the database to do it is whole their document, just put it in, find it out, and then using their key name is Ruben, certain, uh, certain these as of their key pair. And then you can actually, this is like a set method itself is basically how to update. It's somehow, it's also ringing the bell in our similar things in our um, Postgres or SQL situation. They all have their own operations. So there, I, I listed out uh, this uh, kind of, um, uh, this uh, MongoDB's just pairing between in SQL, our like uh, relationship database, how they do and uh, how, in the Mongo query language, their differences is like they basically select from is their database like find and then then you can find all of them. Then they just this or with this pairing and then find whatever the age is thirty three similar to this way. And then more different, more further, more complicated. This is like their operations are great and then. And then create this index is also very powerful. So basically, you can from the document put it out certain things and create all your index file, and then to manipulate in the front, and then easier. So I think the the key concept to get in that it's not as of a like a developer. We just using data as long as we understand how it goes. MongoDB itself is give us a lot of flexibility, flexibility on the um, user end. But to, as of the operator side, like if I'm a database manager, how I going to do that will be the most uh, key thing. In <clears throat> there are lots of can, I can go on about this MongoDB operation part. But the first important thing we need to know that the way what they do is actually they have primary storage and secondary storage. 
as of the time application, they only read and write to the primary. And then the secondary is just replication, copy what the primary have, sort of like a backup. If one time, if the primary is not working, uh, MongoDB has the algorithm to promote one of the secondary become the primary. And then so, and then sh sharing the data because they also have to have a um, algorithm to make sure their secondary database mirroring what their primary database. There is more talk about non-SQL database, what they want to achieve compared to SQL, because SQL is more one consistency, everything have to be exactly like that. The uh, non-SQL, like the, they still have a goal for consistency, but it's not every moment ever uh, have to be there. Eventually, they will be all the same. So basically, you give up certain kind of uh, precise um, definition to gain flexibility. That's, I think, if we want to learn uh, for basic understanding of MongoDB, is that's the non-SQL give us. So the last thing is <laughs> MongoDB is much more popular in the very highly data, you know, the key member, I think, to me is Amazon.com. They have so many data. They definitely need this kind of um, humongous database and handle it. So that's why a lot of um, companies converted to it. And I feel this is a, a teaching and the learning at the same time project. To me, I have a, just scratched the, the surface of number, um, MongoDB and uh, uh, hope you guys learned it with me. Thanks.